All right, everybody, we're back playing Super Mario RPG. I'm Spaghetti, and we're now in Nimbus Town or City or Castle or whatever, and we're going to try to get in the castle. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Okay. But I know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go see this guy. Garo. Hi, I'm the sculptor Garo. I used to make a lot of statues of King, Ning King Nimbus, but now all I get are orders for sculptures of Valentina. Hey, look, it's me. Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad. Huh? What the? Who Who are you? Hi, my name is Malo. And this is my friend Mario. Malo, so it is you, my boy. It's been so long. My, you've become a splendid young prince. He's like, what the? What? I'm really a prince? And then Mario's going to do the thing where he explains everything that we already know. Which is fine. But, and it's done in a funny way, but it's also like, hey, you know what? We know what this is already. Like, we don't, he needs explanation, but we don't. Like, so why do we have to show that? Like, it doesn't make much sense why he has to say, hey. It doesn't make much sense why he has to say, hey, here's what happened when we already know. It's like a time waster, you know? Mario, look at me, I'm a prince. Wah. I knew Valentina was up to something, I just didn't know what. That must mean the king isn't really grave or ill. Let's go and guide the castle and save my mother and father. Malo, no! Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Wait, I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know what you're going to do, but sure. Just stand still for a little while, okay? It won't take long. What are you doing? Stop. Oh my god, he's teleporting. Ah! Oh, he's making me look like a statue. So I can get in the castle. Hey, don't move. You're going to be a statue for a while, okay? Let's get going now. So we're bringing a statue of Valentina and then a statue of Mario. I don't know how that makes sense. I'm delivering Valentina's latest order to her. You may enter. What hall? Who goes there? Hey, this doesn't look like Valentina at all. Oh, that's because this is a statue of Valentina's nephew, Mari... Mariata, okay? Uh, okay, proceed. So how are we going to sell this to Valentina? Phew, that was close. Didn't think we could get through that one. There is no such person named Mariata, huh? Ho, 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 ho. Oh, now this is lovely. My beauty simply shines forth like the sun. Only you can make something this stunning. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll be on my way now. Halt. What, may I ask, is this ugly thing? Oh, what a bitch. That's my latest masterpiece. I created just for you. It's called... A plumber's lament. Observe the thick mustache covering the sad, innocent smile of a simple fool. And the sideburns conveying his blue-collar roots. And the legs well-defined, strong, the legs of the masses. Is it to your liking? <laughs> I, I like this. Hmm. I consider myself something of an odd buff, and I've got to say, this is spectacular. Garo, only you could have created such sculptures with such gentle beauty and raw power. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll be on my way now. Spectacular! Dodo! Dodo! Don't just sit there like a roast. Hurry and carry these in. So Dodo is my favorite because he... Like, he's her henchman, her giant Dodo bird. But he, like, hates her, and you can tell, but he doesn't know what else to do, you know? Because he's like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peck at her statue real quick. You know? Because he hates her. G g get it? He hates her. No, he, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he hates her. I don't know. But he, he's just he's just a funny character in that regard. All right. Is there anything around here I'm supposed to... So she just has a room dedicated to just statues of her. 
That's pretty narcissistic, I'm not gonna lie. ABS, always be saving everybody. This is one of my favorite parts of the game because it's different from the game so far. Dodo! Did you display the statues properly? Fine, now polish them to a fine luster and make them a tribute to my beauty. Pay attention to me. Hurry up and don't let me catch you dozing again. So see, she's like a huge, like, B-word to him. And he just has to take it. Uh-oh, Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Keep up your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting pecked. Get ready because he's coming this way. Okay, so that's how I, that's how I jump. I kind of... I kind of panicked, like, I don't know what button the jump button is. So I'm pretty sure if I do this right, I can get away. But... Um, but if I mess it up, I have to fight him. He's like, what the... I like how it's in time with the music, too. That makes it pretty cool. Oh, he ran out off the screen. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I did it. I did it. Did I get anything for doing it right? No. Oh yeah, I did. I got a feather. That's right. What does the feather do? I think it's a... I think it's an accessory. Speed up by 20. Wait, it's not better than the safety badge? Oh, okay. Well, Malo gets the feather then. Oh shit, I didn't save. Go back. Oh, ABS, always be saving, everybody. Any RPG you play, always be saving. Unless it's one of these new finagled games that has the the autosave. You know what I mean? So these guys, I think I have to fight them. Oh, here's how I'd polish them. And they're gonna, eventually I'm gonna be like, stop. Stop stabbing me. Do statues move? No, statues don't move. Then explain this. It's one of those high tech or lifelike realistic ones. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, uh, that shy guy was scary. Ugh. No. Ugh. Dang it. Joffle's sleeping. So Joffle's the guy in the back, and you don't want to wake him up. But I'm pretty sure the only way to kill those blue staff things is to use magic. So we're going to wake him up. Oh. It's the opposite. I screwed that up, didn't I? Arm cannon, baby. Ooh, he does the nice uppercut. I like that. Ouch. Oh, yeah, the double axe hammer. Gino's the only one that can really take it to people here. I decided to give Bowser a break and use Gino. And I was going to give Malo a break, but I was like, wait, this is like his homeland. I can't not use Malo. And I definitely don't want to use Malo in the princess, so... Which I haven't used Peach yet, but Peach actually later on in the game is pretty helpful um, her, her spells are very varied and she uh, can actually do some damage too once you if you get her the right weapons and stuff oh, fuck I forgot what I was doing so I just got right into another battle oh look at this oh look at this adorable fat ass paratroopa god look at him he's like oh boy some more some more cupcakes I like his name Orbison, like Roy Orbison. You know, the guy who sang the song Pretty Woman. Some of you are probably too young for all that. But it's like, Pretty Woman, walking down the street, Pretty Woman, the kind I like to meet, Pretty Woman. 
Yeah, this guy, this guy's got some attack power too. He got some, but you know, whatever. It's all cake to me. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing but a thing. Oh shit. 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 I'm gonna go here. Boop. Ah, there's so many enemies. And I want all the chests, you know. So, oh, frick. But I don't necessarily want to fight all the enemies either. They don't really show you, like, your speed stat a lot in this game, you know? They just kind of... Oh, shit, he blew me out of the room. Oh, I guess I gotta kill that fan. He's my biggest fan. <laughs> I I'm actually curious about something. How many of you... I mean, I don't sleep with a fan year-round, but, like... I definitely... When it's when it's warm out, I de what the fuck is that thing? I definitely need to sleep with a fan when it's warm out, because otherwise I, I cannot sleep. I want to know how many of you sleep with a fan on, and how many of you don't. I know this is a weird thing of me to ask. I don't know. I'm just fucking trying to engage YouTube comments. You know what I mean? Whatever. Um. Also. Yeah, so how many of you sleep with a fan and how many of you don't? That's a question. The question for this episode, go down in the comments below and tell me how many of you... Because, I mean, I gotta have some kind of noise while I sleep. I don't... I can't sleep in pure silence because it freaks me out, man. There could be anything, anywhere coming to get me, you know? So I, I can't I can't sleep in silence but so if I don't have a fan I have uh, music well it's some most of the time I have both I have a fan and music playing right this time of year I don't because it's fucking cold out yay peaches level oh psych bomb psych bomb is the best ooh that's actually a big, pretty big bonus to her attack so we'll take that one yikes on the same vein of uh, YouTube interaction and stuff I've been trying to be more, uh, more interactive on social media, right? Like, because, like, a lot of people just treat, like, Twitter, for example. A lot of people just treat Twitter like they just say things and then they don't ever interact with anybody. And, like, that used to be how I do it, and sometimes it's still how I do it. Like, I just say things, well, that was weird. But, like, oh, that wasn't weird because that thing. Um, but, like, the way I see it now is if I'm just posting like things and no one's interacting with me and I'm not interacting back with anyone it's pretty much like standing at a cliff and just screaming things in the, in the nothing which is fine like that's I think that's also like a valid way to handle a lot of things when like you know you're angry or whatever and you just want to let stuff out so you just scream at nothing right and I'm talking literally now and not figuratively, but I was talking figuratively before, but like, what's the point of like Twitter if I'm just, or Facebook or anything, if I'm just like posting stuff and there's no interaction on either side, you know? So I've been trying to like, just, you know, like more random people that like follow me because it's a, like I have a YouTube channel, you know, and I, I follow other people that have a YouTube channel and, you know, the... Bowser Crush, oh man. The problem with YouTube is that like, or people, not the problem with YouTube, but right now people's big thing with YouTube is they, you know, everybody wants to have this big fan base, you know, and me included, and so people will, like, I don't want to say be fake, but they'll, um, they're, there's just a lot of fake, like, niceness on YouTube. Where it's like, hey man, you follow my stuff and I'll follow your stuff. And not all of it's fake, obviously. Like, there's some really cool people out there and stuff. But a lot of it is. And a lot of it's just like, hey, sub to me and I'll sub to you. And then, you know, neither person is watching each other's content. So what exactly is the point? You know? And I, so I've never, like... I've never been the person that subs for subs you know i if i like someone's content i will um 
that, that like, I mean, it's hard now because you don't have very much genuine interaction with people, um, on, for about their channel. Oh, wow, there's a group of people in here. Hold on. Do you know there are hot springs around here? Yep. Oh, you're no fun. Well, shut up. Used to be a guard here. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, give me the master key. Alright, cool. Maybe it's in here. There is a room where you can just walk on the ground. I know there is. But anyway, like I was saying, like, there's just still not a lot of genuine interaction with, like, YouTube comments or on Twitter. People, you know, follow you on Twitter just because they know they have a YouTube channel and they know you have a YouTube channel, so they want you to check them out, I guess. I don't know. Like, and I've tried doing that part of it, you know, because you got to market yourself somehow. And I'm, I've actually, I'm actually pretty terrible at marketing the channel. Um, you know, I'll, I'll talk to people on Reddit and stuff, and like sometimes I'll get viewers that way. But um, I'm, I'm pretty bad at it, and I need to get better at marketing. But at the same time, like a lot of it seems so like ungenuine, and just it's about getting ahead. You know, it's just about getting ahead for them, and it's not about what you know. It's not about sharing content. It's about helping people, unfortunately. Not helping people, but... Because it's not about helping people. It's about... God, I'm really not articulate right now. But it's about personal gain. Like, everybody just wants... Hey, subscribe to my channel and check out my videos. But I'm not going to do that for you. I'm just going to subscribe. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to check out your videos. I'm not going to give you feedback. I'm not going to do anything like that. And it's like... I don't know how you expect to get ahead that way. And a lot of these people, like, they see... Um, yeah, I'll double my experience points. Alright, hold on, I gotta focus on this. Dang it! Ah, I was gonna guess to the right anyway, so that's okay. But, like, a lot... Shit, I didn't mean to do that. But, like, a lot of the people, it's like, they just... Eh. God, I completely lost my train of thought. That screwed me up. Um, with a lot of the people... They will make a channel and they'll go around just like, hey, we just started a channel, come check us out, and leave a comment on your video, and it's all spammy. And then their channel will last for like a month, and they'll post like 10 videos in that month, and then there'll just be a dead channel on the internet. And it's like, not not everybody can have a YouTube channel. If you're not willing to put in the work, like, don't start a YouTube channel. It's that simple, man. Like, yeah, unlock the door. Oh god, I'm not ready for this boss fight. La di da, here you go, big eggy. I'll give you plenty of nutrients so you'll grow up to be big and strong. Oh ho ho, Mario's already here. A fast one he is. Oh. Oh uh oh, it won't open, it's locked. I'm so lonely. Will you play with me? Sure. Thanks. So, this is actually funny who this ends up being. Um, and you you'll find out. I gotta crack the egg open first, though. Crack that egg, baby. You gotta crack a few eggs and make an omelet. That's what Tony Stark would tell you. It's Birdo! Hello! I'm Birdo. No one knows if I'm a woman or a man. Not that there's anything wrong with that, Birdo. It's fine. Oh, that was terrible. That's what I get for being... For being whatever I was being. Um... That hurt. You know what? Let's just Geno Flash this fuck right out the get-go. I like the face it makes when it explodes. It's like... Mm. Anyway, my point is, I'm just sick of, like, um, getting... I'm sick of getting you know, spammed by this stuff, of these channels that aren't taking it seriously, you know? And it's like, not that everything has to be over serious, but like, they're not putting in the work. And I feel like here we are, me and Jason are like definitely putting in the work. We're, we're doing the best we can, and we're doing nine, ten videos a week, sometimes more, and we have been for months, and yeah, you know, um, before that, I had stuff going on, so it wasn't as you know, consistent, but the channel still was posting videos for the last two years, and, you know, I feel like we're working our butt off, and then here we are with, you know, only so many subscribers, and then I see people that have, you know, 
500 some subscribers and they're or thousand subscribers and it's and then they get 10 views a video because it's all sub for sub you know and it's it's so stupid like just just stop with the sub for sub stuff guys just actually you know and I you know what it, and the problem with my little speech here is that no one's gonna see it because it's on Super Mario RPG which I'm pretty sure has a pretty low viewership on my channel even for the low viewership of my channel in general but you know it's gonna be pretty disheartening if I you know um, work on this channel for such a long time and then you know it nothing ever comes of it when I don't know man I mean I guess those people aren't really gaining real success in the end because they're just they're just you know they have these subs and then they oh I beat bird already wow that was easy uh, they have all these fake subs and then they give up after a couple months but it just it makes it harder for me as someone who really is trying to push content they believe in and they like and um, it's harder for me to cut through that because there's people who are ingenuous and it doesn't people are sick of that people are sick of getting those spams you know and those like the the auto the freaking auto reply on Twitter through a DM oh my god like that is the worst the apps oh god oh, okay thanks for that fan Ugh. But yeah, the frickin' auto-replies on Twitter are the absolute worst... I don't know why I went this way. Why did I go this way? The worst thing in the world. Like, hey, thanks for following me. Come check out my YouTube channel. And most of the time, the people followed you first. They followed you first on Twitter, right? So you're like, oh, cool, I'll follow them back. Because I'm, you know... I guess, And I guess that's part of the problem, is I'm following them back. Maybe I shouldn't follow them back. But I follow them back. And then they go, hey, thanks for the follow. Come check out my YouTube channel where we do wacky gameplay stuff. You know, and it's like, it's like, and then like some of them, you know, it's all disingenuous because you're not even, they're not even sending that. It's, it's an automatic message that reply that happens. And so, but they, they try to like humanize it and go, oh, uh, how's your day going? Do, 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 do. Good to see you. Wow, you're looking great. You know, and it's like, stop. Just just say, hey, I'm looking for subscribers. You know? Now, will that get you any farther with me? Probably not. But at least you're not, like, being, you know, disingenuous about it. And you're just being, uh, man, I'm going on just a tirade of rant right now about this. I Apparently, I really had some stuff to get off my chest with this YouTube stuff. Um, now, I have met some, like, wonderful people like through through this way you know that have like given me good advice about my channel or just like uh especially just like been nice you know what i mean and people like that um i don't have a problem you know sub for subbing yes double the xp baby you know i don't have a problem like subbing to those people because they're cool people this is locked too mario there's a note let's read it I was trying to read it. King Nimbus is resting in bed. I have absolutely no running in the halls. Queen Valentina. This can only mean that my mom and dad are here. But it's locked. Leave it to me. Looks like it's up to me to get out of another jam. Feast your eyes on this show of brains and brawn. Stand back. Wait, wait, wait a minute. If my dad's really bedridden, we shouldn't make so much noise. We need another plan. I guess we should find Valentina and force the truth out of her. But what about the door? Listen, you, you never talk to the leader of the Koopa Troop like that. Ooh, I hate that. I'll ignore it this time. But don't let it happen again. Relax, Bozer. Queen Valentina! Hey, what's up? Queen Valentina! What a douche of a shy guy. Man, can a brother get a save point or what?
But yeah, like I was saying, I've met some cool people through doing this, and like, you know, they, they've they never felt slimy, or, and I guess, I'm not trying to say self-promotion is slimy, right? That's not what I'm trying to say, because obviously self-promotion is something that you need to do to get ahead anywhere in anything. But, what I'm saying is the way people go about it, where they try to make it with as little effort as possible and not actually making genuine connections with people and just sending, you know, sending, like, automated Twitter messages and, like, hey, man, sub for sub, hey, check out our channel, even though they clearly didn't check yours out. They just went and found a smaller YouTube channel and said, hey, here's a comment of me pretending to like your channel. That's all. I, I just wish that wasn't a thing. Anyway, I think we're about to fight Dodo. See, and Dodo is my favorite because he's like, hey, they're down there. And he's pecking her. And she's like, stop. And he's like, yo, seriously, let me peck you. There's someone over there. And she goes, oh, isn't a statue? That's Mario. Valentina, hand over the key now. And trips. Classic Malo. Well, he's the prince, and you're... Alright, so this is... She's gonna leave, but Dodo's gonna stay. Dodo's gonna be... Dodo's like, I'm out of here too. And then they're like, nah. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I thought we fought him right now. So let's go follow him. Is it here? Damn it. I know there's a room that does it. Alright, here's the save point. So, I'm going to save and I'm going to get myself something to drink. Because, man, I did a lot of talking there and my throat's kind of like, what are you doing? So, after that, uh, well, not after that. I'm going to end this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And, you know, if, if, what, do you sleep with a fan? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you have any insight on this YouTube stuff, and if you want to connect as a YouTuber to me and my brother and all these other people that whatever, just let me know down in the comments, and I'll hit up your channel, and you can hit up mine, and sub for sub, bro. <laughs> Bye. Bye.